Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared with my buddy Justin from OCD for EDC. <laughs> and this is part two of us checking out each other, some of each other's knife collection. Now part one, we checked out mine. I'm gonna link that down in the description if you didn't see it. And now we're gonna check out some of Justin's knives, or I'm gonna check out some of his knives. So let's get to it. Let's get on it. All right, so we're gonna get into a few knives here. I brought a, a couple different knife rolls. We'll go through them really quick because there's a, there's quite a few in here. But uh, so some oh, of these yeah. you've probably already seen before. So some of them maybe not. This is um, similar to my Carhartt pack. Yeah, this is uh, just so you guys know. This is a real steel knife roll. It works out all right. It's pretty this cool. Looks really nice. Yeah. So we'll just uh, we'll just start getting into them here. Yeah. Like I said, some of these you've probably seen before. The that is the MBK oh, yeah. Turbo. Yes, yes. Turbo. This is a great, dude, man, it's so comfortable in the hand. It, it a, really is, yeah. A robust grind, but For, that's what's kind of cool about it. You know, it's kind of a, a, a tactical-ish, you know? Like, it feels like that, just how thick and robust it is. You know, that uh, almost spear point-ish blade. Great action, though, man. These MBKs, I was sleeping on Monterey Bay Knives for right, a while. I right. really was. Titanium liner lock, right? Yep, titanium liner lock. Uh, that one, I'm pretty sure, is M390. I'm guessing that's usually what they do. Yeah, I think it is. <clears throat> Carry designed, really nice knife. Yeah. And that's one I'm just kind of like waiting on to do uh, do some mod work on that what one. What are you going to do? I haven't really decided yet. A do some ammo. Hold deployment, maybe? Uh, potentially. It looks like it could. Potentially. I was thinking about maybe a couple holes in the handle. There you go. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how, how what that turns into. Yeah, those are great. Um, this, I don't know if you ever handled one of these. This is one of the best budget oh, knives dude, I've seen I in a just, minute. I just did a video on this. So, I literally bought it because somebody in my comments recommended it said, please get this. The, the Asica? Asica. Asica. Yeah, Asica. Yeah. SRM Asica. Yeah, these are great, man. Really great knife. And, and, and it's, it's a little, just barely over 100 bucks. Yep, yep. Um, Titanium frame lock. It does have a steel lock bar, so the grind is nice and thin. The whole thing is super slim. Yeah. Um, I do have a full first impressions on this if you guys want to check it out. Uh, awesome, awesome knife for sure. And here's another new one from SRM or newer. One. I have not seen this. This, this is one. interesting. Look that one's at called that. the Laser, I think. When did this come out? Uh, same time that the Asika came out. And the Asika, they make Ooh. it a small version too. I have the small one somewhere. It might be in here. This is nice. It's a titanium frame lock. It does have a secondary lock, so you're not going to accidentally disengage it through hard use. What steel is it? Uh, is it 154? N N690, I oh, think. Oh, N690. Okay. Yep. Let's try that front flipper. Ooh, the front flipper works good, too. Yep. Nice and slim. Yeah. Yeah, this is it's cool. A, it's a good one, right? Yeah, it's super unique. I'm going to say they're around 70 ish dollars. The reverse flick works great. I love this this kind of uh, blade shape. It's pretty much a drop point, but man, the utility cuts would be great with this. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And the lock bar, if you guys can't see that, the lock bar access right there is so good. Yes. It's great. Easy to disengage. Yeah, it comes in a handful of different colors. The oh, inline. does it? Yeah, so you can get like red, black, green, a handful of kind of primary colors. I think there may be even the yellow one too. Um, but yeah, kind of under, uh, you know, yeah. I haven't seen it, so. Yeah. yeah All right, awesome. so this is uh, from the Benchmade Custom Shop. I actually got that on Ooh. a, on a, uh, it was some, somebody didn't, didn't pick it up. S90V. So, S90V. Oh, yeah. Uh, the clip's on the wrong side for me, but. Yeah, yeah I'm I know how you feel now. <laughs> yeah, uh, I feel yeah. your, I feel your pain from the last it's video. It's strange, right? It's it, so strange. It's so weird. When, you, when it's on the wrong side, especially on I an axis. I hang on to a clip Absolutely. normally. So now I'm not hanging on to nothing. Yep. And it's so weird. These are so smooth, man. They almost feel like they're on bearings. Yeah, that one's got the old slick em all in it. And oh, that, that's uh, why I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one's all churched yeah. up. Yeah, this is so, 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 S90B, so smooth. S90B, full-size Crooked River. Yeah, these are nice, good-sized knives. You know, I seen um, Joe Rogan. I was watching, uh, um, you know, one of the podcasts he was doing, and yep. he was actually carrying a, a decked out. What was it? The um, oh man, it was the deck. I think it was the decked out cr small crooked cr crooked river. Oh, uh, the 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 uh, oh, gold man. class. Yeah, the gold class what? crooked river. Oh man, I, I think that's what it was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was um, because it has the the like the shred. 
or like the carbon fiber with the wire in it, right? That's right. Yeah, that's, that's right. what he had. Yep, yep. Gold class Crooked River. Yeah. So this here, have you handled this one? Um, yes, I have actually, uh, but only mm. once. I just, I really quickly. So this is the Chavez Liberator, and. Or it, maybe I did have this it, one in a it, while back. This one's it, the older one, right? Uh, I don't know about or the age on it. This one was actually, this is hands down the nicest knife gift I've ever gotten. You this was this, it, this was given to me by one of the my viewers. Man, whoever Shout you out. are, man, this is an <laughs> awesome <laughs> gift. Yeah, dude. So he sent me, he sent me the uh, Redencion and the Liberator to check out. And uh, I... <sighs> I haven't oh, really done much with it, um, but man, is it a good knife! I Rhea, really love it. So, Rhea does such thank you a so good much. Job with these, yeah, man. right? They're such they're, a good job. Good. Just everything about it just feels pretty. Even the detent, like when you kick it out, nice strong detent, and it kicks. Yes. Yeah. The lock bar, the comfort of disengaging it, uh, just everything about it. Yeah, they do a killer job, and I like the skull clips. I don't care what anybody <laughs> says. That clip is badass. And do you and hate this, it? Do you no, like it? I, I don't. I honestly don't really mind it. Well, either some way. people didn't yeah. like it. Yeah. I, man, I think but it's this one's narrower and smaller than the Redemption. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. as fat and round. Yep. It's going to square yep. off. Yep. So, but this one to me um, is is just excellent in hand. It really is. It's a little shorter this way. Yeah. It, it's just a it's just a not different as shape. blocky because not it's as shorter. Blocky. Yep. yep. And I, I really dig it. Yeah. So, like I said. That's the nicest knife gift I've ever gotten from, from a viewer. My wife has gotten me a couple nice ones. Um, I'm guessing you've handled this, but this one's a lefty version. Is it? Oh, yeah. yeah it lefty is. Axon. Oh, yeah. Now I get to and feel your pain again. Cross-cut carbon fiber. Oh, dude. Which the carbon That's my is bitching. Favorite, yeah. My favorite kind of carbon fiber is cross-cut. Yep. You get the nice fibers going across the carbon fiber going up and down. It looks so nice. Yeah. I absolutely love that. For sure. All right. It feels weird, though, because of that the disengage. Because <laughs> the action opening it feels normal, but. Yep. Yeah. But then, yeah. I feel your guys' pain. <laughs> I know. I feel it. I, feel I brought it. that one just so he could uh, he could experience a full-on lefty. Now, this is another two, son. You have this one? Um, I did have it in. Yes. Yeah, yes. That, that I, one's a good one. Yeah, oh, yeah, with the this warning Tepe blade. design. Yes, yes. Tepe design. Yep. Yeah, he killed this one, man. Yeah, he did. He it's did, a good one. It's so light. Like, it's crazy how light this is because there's it's only carbon fiber on this side and then a titanium. Is it titanium? Titanium liner lock. Liner but, on this side. Yeah, but yeah, full carbon on the show side and then just a liner, tie liner, crazy lightweight. And then look how they did that jimping on the top flipper so you can get it, like, on the, the top of it, on the front of it. It's so so easy to deploy. Yeah. It's so comfortable. Yeah. So comfortable. Yeah, it's a, this it's is a good a one. This is a badass blade shape. It, it is, too. Yeah, it, I like this a lot. Yeah. Uh, the one thing, though, man, the blade-to-handle ratio is crazy. It is. It is. And she got a little junk in the trunk, a little fat in the backside. But, but uh, I like it when it gets like that, where yeah. you can really, yeah. you can, it feels so good in the hand. So, uh, real quick. When junk in the trunk. Here's, nice here's an old one, but. I've never tried this. That's a manly peak. This is one I've of the best working ones. knives ever made. I uh, ooh, 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 <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that, so that's, no frills. That's this thing is just... Just a workhorse. Just a workhorse. And... 12C27. I love that steel. Yeah. Great steel. And it's... Uh, that's nice. So, if you turn it up, if, if you don't put your finger in, the, the blade tang is made just perfect so when it's open and you let it drop oh then it stops it stops right there nice and so yeah you can yeah, check it yeah, out yeah let's see if i can reverse flick it bang yeah dude that's great how good is that thing that is so awesome 12c super super thin grind yeah really dude. thin behind the edge such great a good one. blade shape yeah man. this that's, this feels like a workhorse that's, that's the original reversible peak. clip yep and so, like, and the jimping here uh, that sticks out the, yep. the right there, oh, that's yeah. the liner Lots sticking of traction through. There. Yeah, There's it's actually a laser lot cut. Of traction right there. And you, yeah, it feels good. It, kind of, it protects you from sliding up. You're yeah. not going to slide up. This whole thing is nice and textured. Yeah. That is cool. It's it's my favorite Manly folder for sure. I think this is the first Manly I've ever tried. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, and the clip's great as well. Nice fold over clip. It, mm -hmm. it just functions really well. And the screw isn't recessed, but it's rounded. And so it, it works really yeah, well down yeah. in there. The clip's the, inset. The clip's inset. It's got a filler tab on this side. But yeah. And if you notice, the hole is not round. It's like 
oblonged a oh, little bit. Oh, yeah, it is. So I just noticed that, yeah. The manly hole. <laughs> um, they still make them? Yeah, but they did away with the hole. A thumb studs? Nope. Nope, it's just, you just pinch oh, the bike. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. So why they did away with the hole, I have no that idea. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, and this one, yeah, I don't think you can get these anymore. So that's a bummer. Uh, this one I'm sure you've had. Yeah. The Maverick. Yeah, I love the Maverick. Looks like you modded this one. That one I did a little anno on. Oh, yeah, yours is nice, broken in, really good. That one's just, uh, that one's just in Tempe the... Tempe Design, M390. Yep. 177, a TS-177, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yep, Tucson TS-177. Did you clean the clip off I from did. the Anno? I yeah. did. It looks good, though. I like the, the contrast <clears throat> between the hardware yep. and everything. Yeah, really so nice. I did a little two-tone Anno and yeah, these brushed are, the clip. And... These are great. Um, a, yeah. Somewhat of a little bit more of an expensive Tucson, but there's so much milling on the inside and the outside, and it is a solid knife. It is. Great knife. It is. Okay, so now we're getting into some uh, stranger ones. Have you had this one? Mm -mm. Spyderco Tropin. I'm guessing this is a wave. It is a wave, yes, and you can also Ooh. flick it. Oh, this is so comfortable, man. <laughs> Holy cow, that is comfortable. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Wow, it feels like I'm literally like putting on a glove or something. Yes. Yeah, that, that's that's different. A different mm -hmm. kind of comfort. It is. It's a different. It's, it's what a is different this? animal. G G10. It's like polish. It's yeah. Polished G10. Yep. This this part right here, your finger just wraps around. It's so good. It's almost. Is it a no? It's nope. like they put a, a access to the liner there, but there's no liner there. No. It's, it's a, a compression. Compression lock. Now watch your finger back yep. there because it'll get you. It'll cut you? Yeah. So okay. <laughs> when it's closed, when it's closed, now turn it around. When and he look. said get you, the way he said it, I figured it was a cut you situation. Yeah, yeah turn around and look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the tropin's one that'll make you. What is this called? The tropin. Isn't that called the guillotine no, or anything like nope, that? You show that to the camera. That the, thing will get you. Your edge, the edge is popping out right there. That, Completely. You, you It'll cut the shit out of you. You can't <laughs> tell me that's not on purpose because this is where you disengage it. So when it comes back, now the, the edge, oh, this thing protects you right yeah, there. Yeah, the flipper protects you. But, but if you held it back here, yes. wham, it'll get you. Oh, yeah. Can you? Oh, yeah, you can oh, reverse yeah. flick it. Yeah. And it's a wave feature, but you can you can spidey flick the wave. But you can let the, the flipper tab hit you and then let it drop. That's kind of satisfying to let the flipper tab just hit you. Yep. That's super smooth, though. Yeah. Really, it's really on bearings. smooth. Yeah. And then you and, flick that. Yep. Yeah. And wicked blade shape, man. Look yeah. at that belly. Yeah. Crazy blade shape. What steel We're, is this? S30, I'm pretty sure, on that one. Yep. S30V. So, yep. so smooth, man. Yeah, that's cool. That's yeah. unique. Yeah, it's unique. I like checking out unique stuff. All right, so I've got another unique one here. You seen this one? Oh, I have, but it's been a long... They discontinued this, didn't this they? This is discontinued. This uh, is... What's it called? Zach. I know you're, you're uh, drooling. I got this the, my last trip out to Benchmade. Zach was with me, and I got the last one they had, and they're discontinued. This, this is, is a... the Benchmade Nakamura. Yeah, Nakamura, yeah. Yeah, and super good. So smooth, right? Wow, that is smooth. Right? And that's that's slick them all on there. You you Knock can tell. Yeah. You can tell because when you when he uses his slick them all, man, it just it's so. Is this on bearings? Nope, that's on washers. I I would have bet money it was on bearings. Yeah, yeah. Um, nope. Th this these grooves. Yeah. Man, that fits nice. For it's a, a little, small it's knife. It's a little bit small for me, but well, I it still is small, dig but it. for a small yeah, knife. Yeah. It's no, very it's... compact. Like you can feel you could work with this thing. Yeah. I'm surprised they discontinued this. And, and I changed up I I'm pretty sure this didn't bug come with the mini. The bug the, out clip. Yeah, it's the mini deep carry but bench made clip. But I think it came with a, a long a full size clip. Four standoffs. <clears throat> or yeah, four standoffs, so it's a nice solid construction. It is. Man. It's a little tank. For yeah. for a small knife, it's a tank. It's so smooth. Yeah, so the Nakamura is a cool one. And then this one might be the most oddball in the <laughs> It almost looks like a spider co bench made at a baby. That is cool. What is this? That is the bench made aileron. And it is also discontinued. Oh man. I like this thing a lot. Right? How good is that thing? It, it's thin and, in and the it's, hand, yes. but it's still nice and comfortable. Broad blade. And, man, again, it's just so smooth. Yeah. 
That's slick them all, man. It just yeah. These these two, the, both of these, I picked up on my last trip to Benchmade, and that was when that was the first time I ever showed the slick them all off in public. Uh, and both of these got it day one. Yeah. How, um, how how long was this out for? Uh, that that one actually released like four or five years ago. Oh, okay. And super grippy G10 right there, and then nice ridges. They made this it in a cool. blacked out blade version too, which they they those are all gone, but. But these, so this is meant for it's texture. Texted. Yes. For what? So the, you can, for this? Yeah. Well, it's actually meant for opening the blade. So the guy, oh. Benchmade has a video. <laughs> yes, but you can do that right there. Yeah. It's like it's like There's grip texture. tape on a skateboard. It is. It is. So. What's what's the deal with it? Did, did, is there, there's no more available? Probably, no, they're, they're probably discontinued. super hard to find. Dis discontinued, yeah. But the the guy that developed this was like a, a U.S. marshal or some damn thing, and and the designer, and he was like a I don't know, had something to do with like uh, airlines and whatnot. And he meant for this to be like open two handed because it was like a fighting stance, and so you would like grab it like this and then like flip it out, kind of. What? I, yeah, dude. Okay, you, so you he was. Board. You need to see the Benchmade video, but the knife is He didn't good. understand the one-hand deployment. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He didn't um, understand it at know, all. You know, sometimes, like, when things get discontinued, though, places still have them floating around. Yeah, maybe. I maybe doubt because, it, though. Because this... this one was not, when it first came out, was not crazy popular. Uh, but, man, is it good of one. I'm surprised on that, though. Well, but I think, I think it was just a looks thing. And they seen the guy opening it two hands, uh, right, and they were right. like, it must be stiff. Yeah, and the, the, well, and the guy was kind of douchey, the, the designer. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, I'm sure he's a nice guy, whatever, but, you know. If you, you see this, I'm sure yeah. you're a nice guy. <laughs> yeah. You probably swell. But it, the whole thing, it was just funny. But, but anyway, yeah, so mini deep carry clip on this one as well. And, uh, yeah, Benchmade Aileron. Really yeah, interesting. Very cool. I've never seen it. Different one for sure. All right. So now we'll get into. Uh, hopefully, I got some more stuff you've never seen. I hope so. I'm sure. Uh, well, there's a so lot I see on your channel that I've never seen. This one I had in my pocket today. Yeah. I love this thing. The M48. Yep. So snappy. It is on bearings. You have a, a titanium frame lock and aluminum show side. It's got the tracks. From the M48 tank, very smooth. The action is so good. <laughs> like you would, you wouldn't expect it from Medford. And I'm not saying Medford has bad action, but this is the type of action you expect on uh, different knives. I'm just gonna say that yeah. it's an awesome knife. I love it. Yeah, it is a really, really great one for sure. So I know you already, you you know the Mordax, yep. the Horn. This one you had handled that. Oh one? yeah, I actually like this though. Yeah, the top is, thing, the one yeah. thing though is this. Yeah. When you choke yeah. up right there, ooh, you got a nasty edge on that thing. Yes, yeah, sir. S one S one ten V. Yep. How'd S1 you like sharpening it? It's all right. You know, I, I polished her up a bit. I've used it some since, so it's deep, not perfect. But deep burring is usually the issue with one ten. Yeah. Yep. You just you got to strop it, uh, strop yeah. it off. Yeah, and but this is a great knife. It really is. And uh, you know, of course, S one ten V. I was all in on that. S one ten V. Like what I've noticed from my experience, you don't want to deburr with the stones. You want to deburr with the um, with the compound or with the strop. This is so so nice. I, I you actually, handled that yeah, one. Yeah, I got the to big handle one. one, and I love it, man. So that's the the MBK XL Slayback uh, ZDP one eighty nine. He treated Sand the 67 blade. HRC yep, or yep, something. Yeah. Yeah. Super thin behind the edge. Titanium liner lock. The action is so that, good on these. That is one of my. Just breaking the detent. It's so good. So good. So it's perfect. This is so a good. perfect detent. You can't get better than that. Yep. Yeah. I wonder if I could reverse look it. Oh, I yeah. can. Yes. I can. <laughs> it's so just, good, dude. It's so good. The handle's that, nice and thin, too. Pocket clip's great. Love that knife. Yeah. Absolutely love Man. that knife. Ray Laconico killing it. Yeah. And MBK did it just the, yeah, it's so yeah, good. Yeah. So good. That, that is, is that is one of my. And they, may, they have the smaller one. Remember, this is the XL. Yeah, so. this is the XL. This is the big boy version. All right. You familiar with that one? No. No, I have not. So this is Ooh, Kaiser's, sorry, wait a second. Kaiser's very first backlock. This is called the did Kaiser they put a half Slicer. Stop on it? No, but it's, so, so here's the thing. So I'm gonna give them a pass because it's their very first time, but it's a little bit strange, right? It is strange, but it's so it's such a good knife, and it was it was budget, 
knife. Uh, you know, I've, I'm wanting to say they were like 50, 60 bucks, something Michael like that. Michael Galavik design? Yep, yep. And the blade shape in hand, it's it's really comfortable. Yeah, yeah. And I, the clip actually works out good in the yeah, hand. Yeah, clip is great. It's, um, it's a really, you would think really that was fantastic uncomfortable, knife. But the clip is really comfortable in the hand. Yeah. Um, yeah, super comfortable in the hand. The one thing is when you disengage the lock, it's like it's got a spot right there, and you got to overcome that kind of like a slip joint, and then it like stop. It doesn't stop there, but it has a, a spot. So you can tell there's like a cutout back there. Yeah, or something. yeah, there's like a little. And then it's, it's, it's smooth a, here. Yeah, it's kind of strange, right? It's very strange. So you so it's super smooth opening it to right there. Then you got a little click and then it locks up. But I will say it's a little satisfying in a way too. It is. And so when I first opened it, I was like, man, that's a little strange. But I kind of I got, got used, used to, to it, it and then it was good. Then it but, gets satisfying doing that. Yeah, oh. and it just, it's a rock solid lockup. Oh, the thing is, yeah, that is, thing is solid. Yeah, ain't it? yeah. Wow. And it's Holy it's a cow. great work. It, no to me, play. It's like the the Manly Peak, where it's just right. a really great work knife. A workhorse. Yep, just an absolute workhorse. And when it when you open it, man, it's like you have no question of whether or not it's not locked. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? You right. can hear that locking gauge. Absolutely. And there's something so. Satisfying with it. Let me do it on the mic. Yeah. I don't know why I'm acting like my mic's over there. Yeah. That lockup is nice. That's for great. sure. All right. Here's one. Guaranteed you've seen the knife before, but maybe not that version. The fact, right? Yep. The hot, yeah, I've made never fact. seen this version. That's a Blade uh, Shot Show exclusive. 2019 Shot Show White exclusive. White carbon fiber? Yep. That it's, is super Yeah, nice. silver twill carbon silver, fiber is what they call it. Silver twill carbon fiber. With the red thumbs, thumb stud, red backspacers or standoffs. Oh, yeah. She pops. Man, that action. Oh, slick them. Yeah, sir. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yep. Again, you would think this stuff was uh, was on bearings. Yeah, so here's just because I have one sitting here. There's a standard fact. That's the murdered out fact. Okay. So black fact. It feels then, different. It does. It does. Because of the, the milling on oh, the Oh, yeah, the G10. milling. Yeah, yeah. Yep. The weight, too, everything, you know. Yeah. This is so light. Yes. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. I see why people like these so much. Mm -hmm. um, it is kind of one, you know, a pig sticker of a knife. It is. is it, was it, it like supposed is. to be a self-defense knife or something? I, I think so, because it was the black class. Right, uh, yeah. right, right, right. And, but the cool part was, is this was the first time. So with the black class, they never did like special editions. Okay. They just did like, you know, right. black or whatever. But this was, I'm pretty sure, the very first black class special edition ever was this, this SHOT Show exclusive fact. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I could so be wrong on that. People want it. I'll tell you what, man. The thumb set action works great. It's it so good. It kicks open, and it's it's just like a little needle. It's nice and thick, though. It's almost like um, an OTF grind. It is. You know, it nice is. and yep. thick where you can tell it's for sticking in a way. Could you cut with it? Obviously. But. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Okay, so this one I know you haven't handled because this might be the only one in, in existence. In the world? Yeah, oh, potentially. Shit. Potentially. I don't know. I mean... Hogue probably has some. Oh, I had this yesterday. I'm just joking. <laughs> um, Hogue probably has some of these um, in their wheel hort or wheelhouse. But uh, so what this is, is Do a... Do you deploy it by pulling this down? Yeah. Oh, it's an auto. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> it is. This was the original prototype Hogue Ballista. Uh-huh. Which they are coming out now in a th like 3 or 3.5 inch. This is a 4 inch blade. Access auto. The Ooh, new the ballista is kicks. is a push button auto. Button lock. Okay. Okay. Same handle shape, but smaller knife. Button lock instead of access lock. The size of the handle is great. Right. The thickness, the width, the just my, for my hand personally, this yeah. is very. I can feel like I could just work all day with this. Yes. Yes. Um, this is something that you could. It's just so comfortable. This clip. I got it on the the K three twenty. Oh yeah, the, the K three twenty. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Great and, knife. Uh, the clip. It has these little ridges on there for you to have grip when you're pulling it in and out of the pocket. This thing has a strong spring. Yes. Nice strong spring. Yes, it. it does. Yeah, that's nice. What, is this PVD, the coating? Uh, yes. Yep. Yeah, if it had a button, it, you'd almost, because it almost, you almost lose control. Yeah, you really need to have a hold of that. Yeah. Because that thing kicks. She kicks you hand like it mule. to somebody, you tell, be careful now. It's going yep. to jump out of your hand. Yeah. yeah that's cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yep. And you said this is the only one? Yeah, so they didn't make it. So this was a prototype, and then and then they allowed me to purchase it. 
and then they changed the design before the they button. released it to the button lock nice. and made it smaller. Nice. And so I don't know. Special. I, I, special. Special. All right. You can't get one. What is this? This is a Guardian Tactical. Oh, I've never tried one of these. GTX 025, the this two and a half small. inch blade. Oh man, that thing is so smooth. Yes, sir. Wow. Like butter. Somebody <laughs> asked me, okay, somebody asked me in the comments, do all OTFs, because I showed an OTF and how it's really stiff, yep. you know, moving yep. the button because, you know, it's kind of a, a protection, right? So yeah. that you don't yeah. deploy it in your pocket or anything like that. And they asked me, are all of them like that? And I said, for the most part. I said, some of the very high-end ones yep. ha have a little bit more premium action and are smoother. Yep. That's this. Yes. This is definitely very smooth. The button is very easy to deploy without being like a threat. Like you wouldn't accidentally click it or anything like that. But yeah. it is very smooth. And for what I've found is most women don't have enough finger strength. No. To, to no, do they, they have the ones that have to grab two, fingers, yes. two hands yes. on it. It's intentional so it doesn't fire off in your pocket, but they almost go too extreme. Right, they do. And and this one, if you notice, the button is all kind of rounded, yeah. and so it can't, like, catch on your pocket anywhere. Right, right, and, right. And then the little step allows you to have a p place to push against. Yeah. Like, the, the, yeah, the, the shape so of the nice. button, it's good. I can even do this left-handed so easily. Hollow ground blade. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, and the size to me is perfect. Like Elmax my, steel too. Yeah, Elmax. This is nice. Microtech makes the UTX eight, uh, uh, seventy and the UTX, UTX eighty five, and this is right in the sweet spot between those two. Look at this button. Mm. Yeah, super cool. S super easy. Yeah, this is really nice. Very smooth glass breaker on the back. Yeah, yeah. but it's rounded. A it's just a. So it's not going to be uncomfortable ball. in the hand. That's right. That is nice and comfortable. You don't even feel it. Exactly. See, I don't like that when I squeeze them and it pokes me. Yep. So that's cool. Yeah, I don't either. Okay. Have you seen that one? No. Okay, perfect. Killer Whale. Oh, it's Max, a Max Ace Max design? Max Ace Killer Whale. Oh, this milling is... Yep. You got some micro milling on there. Very nice. Give her a whirl. Oh, <laughs> that detent is great. And check out the blade steel. Wow, I think kicks. Mm hmm. What what is it? ASP sixty? What is mm -hmm. that? What mm -hmm. is that? I don't even know what that is. Yeah, yeah, that's a no bullshit steel. So we're, this is this is uh, K three ninety Maximet level steel. Really? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, I've never heard of it. Yep. I, yep. But K390 is probably my favorite steel. Yeah. Everybody knows that on the channel. So this I love is, it. This is a really old... This is like before um, people started... Uh, like This is like the, the granddad to those super steels. Okay. And, gotcha. And so this... Uh, not many people have used it for knife steel, but it is that level. This thing's like up in the really high 60s, maybe low 70s HRC. Okay. And... I low just, 70s yeah 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 could, potential could be like up to 72 wow yeah wow yeah i didn't know max ace did anything like this yep this is yep. crazy and yep. man this flipper tab you have so much leverage i can't express how um how snappy this thing feels you it's a strong detent but you have so much leverage as soon as you break it it just carries itself it feels assisted like, you know, yep. if, if somebody that was used to assisted knives snapped this, they wouldn't think anything different. They would just think it was assisted. Right. Yep. That's great, man. Yeah, that's a good one for sure. Absolutely. And nice the, big hardware. Love the steel. Steel lock bar insert, titanium. Lots of good stuff, man. This, this is a great one for sure. Good access to the lock bar. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so uh, this one you've probably handled before. This was my birthday. No, I oh, haven't. Okay, so that's the Clever Girl, CRKT Clever Girl with the deadbolt. Um, my wife actually got if me If I night. did, I did it like a, a, like a Bass Pro Shop. Yeah, And yep, so, yep. I, you know, I just like flipped it and then handed it back or something. Yeah. I see, man, I like the deadbolt. I just... Yeah, it's interesting, it's, right? It's, it's really strong, too. I watched yeah. Andrew Demko test it, and it is a really strong locking system this blade grind is amazing it's a nice hollow grind yeah it is you know um a persian blade yep. so yeah. it's uh not going to be the most edcable but for hunting and stuff like that but the the lock or detent however they create the detent is good yeah it is it is 
very smooth. The yeah. action's great. It's um the detent is actually built into the handle, so it's, oh, a, it's is adjustable. It? Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. So if you look, there is um, right there. Right there. Yeah, oh. the little hole you can adjust the detent. Wow. So that's putting pressure on a little spring bar that's cut out in the liner. Gotcha. Yep. It's very snappy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I um I wish they would do more of this locking system. Yep. And not charge an insane amount with HCI. Yeah. It feels yeah. like a high end knife. For yeah, and sure. the clever girl. I mean, it feels to me it feels like a higher end uh, cold steel. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. For yeah. sure. All right. Okay, so we got a ProTech here. ProTech. Yep. I'm not sure which one. Is this just a manual? Nope. Okay, so it I'm is auto. To... So okay, just give me a second. Yep, yep. No worries. No worries. There's some sort of auto, and you gotta no the other way. No. So you you're all you're on the right track, okay. uh, but well. Was I? May, well, the right. Um, the right idea. Kind of. But so so the original the one, the here? one that you're doing, the 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 way that you're doing it. Okay. You want me to show you one? Yeah, yeah, please. All right. So right here. Wait, like wait, that. wait here again. <laughs> Too fast. All right, all right, all right. You ready? You watching? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> all right. So um, this is the Magic Whiskers two. Oh, I did it! I didn't, I didn't even mean to. So you gotta kick there it down. Is. There okay, it is. so it kicks this way. Yeah, look at look that's at the back cool. lock. Oh, that's sweet. So I mean, technically, it's just a back lock, right? Right, it's right. It's a back lock auto. But you squeeze it. You basically yeah. squeeze down there because when you squeeze this part, your hand pushes this scale forward. Yep. Yep. That's cool. Yeah. Nice so spring to it. Yep. That's the big Magic Whiskers. The the first Magic oh, Whiskers a little one? was a little one, but, okay. it, but it did the bolster like you were trying to do. It the opposite a, way yep, right up yep, here. Okay. Yep. This is cool. Yeah. Deep carry clip. It's one that I wanted for a really long time, and I finally got what one. What is the steel? 154 CM. Yeah. Rock solid lockup. I feel a little tiny bit of up and down, but from the, the because that's back lock. Yeah. You yeah, know? yeah. That's cool. Yeah, very it's a cool, cool knife. And the carbon fiber done inlay. Very well. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. All right, so here's uh, that's a dealer exclusive uh, uh, Spider Co. with some 3D printed made by me scales. It works good. It works it's good. It's very, very light. <laughs> Crazy lightweight. <clears throat> you 3D printed this? Yeah, and those are, it's 3D printed carbon fiber nylon. Oh, you can 3D print carbon fiber nylon? Yep. That's interesting. So it still has liners. It st yeah, it still has the steel liners. So instead of the G10 that would be on there, and that's actually the St. Nick's super exclusive. Super thin. Yeah. Super thin. St. Yeah, yeah. Nick's exclusive? Yeah. So if you look at the blade the steel. The 4V. Oh, man. They do such a good job with the 4V. Yeah. And so that originally has got or had red G10 scales right this is so fidgety man right the, the action is great i see you guys already know i love the manix the manix is one of the best one of the best knives it, it, period yes. yeah yeah it, i agree it, like i always when people always ask me like a one and done knife like what is the best one manix get yeah. a manix because you can get it in so many different steels or so many different options and you can always make it your own later yeah you can always upgrade it and so what, what do you think of the scales do you like them I think or it, no no i don't but yep. it's super unique yeah and that's why, like, it's unique. I, I don't necessarily care for them, too. They're, they're a little even, too thin. You, you even left out, like, some on mm -hmm. some of the parts. Like, it almost looks skeletonized you, from the right. outside. Yeah, yeah, yep. It is very unique, and it's super light. Yeah, um, it I does was, function well, but I, I'm not, I'm kind of just on the fence about them. Yeah. Um, but they do work. I they would say, work. like, like with some, like, up, like, Doing it a few times, I'm sure you'd figure out like a different system or something. How many times did you do it before you got to this? Like three. Okay. I, and right. I just haven't had much of a chance to mess with it right. and try to perfect right. it. So this here is a, a real budget knife, but a real steel. Just, I've never tried it. Oh. Ooh, I think that's it's called pretty... like the Boris or something. I don't even remember what the hell the Ooh, name is. Oh, that right? is smooth. Yeah, right? Holy cow, it's smooth. Micarta. I've never I think seen it's this 14C. one. 14C. Yep, 14C. Yep, yep, yep. Sandic steel. 
mm -hmm. nice and comfortable mm -hmm. in the hand. My Carta? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and like, and it's cheap. How much is it? Uh, 40, 40, 50 bucks. Oh something man, like that. this is that. This is a killer knife for that money. Yeah. Very yeah. comfortable. Very, because you can get them nice and close to that edge because you don't have a flipper tab and the clip doesn't bother you. It is a full size knife too. That action, man, it is so so smooth. The thumb studs work great, even for the reverse flick. Yeah. Yeah, I like this one. Um, really good budget knife. So real quick, um, it guaranteed you've handled both of these, but that's the aluminum bug. I don't know if you've handled the aluminum I, I one. don't think I have, honestly. And it kind of changes things it a little bit. Yeah, because yeah. I got uh, Bertolette Micarta on mine, yep. and that changed things. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Even just putting G10 yes, changes cha it. Yeah, it does. It so does, the one sure. thing that's weird is where the clip is, but yeah, I like it a lot. It's so light, so thin. This feels thinner than mine. That one's aluminum M390. Does it make it thinner with the aluminum? I don't know about it that exactly. It feels thinner. Yeah, than I, I'm mine. not sure. I like this a lot, like a lot, yeah. like a lot. Yeah, yeah, Stage no, man. it's good. It's good, for sure. What steel is on this one? M390. Oh man, yeah, this is so good. Yep, That's that one's so a good one. That's so sweet. Yeah, the bug out, man, just a, so let me see, mm. make sure they've seen it. The bug out, man, such a solid knife for most people. Now, I know a lot of people will argue the deck of the deck of the deck of because you can get it for a little bit less money for better materials when you're talking about the base model. Both are great. Yeah, so. they're both great. That's right. And I love the deca too. I've got a whole bunch of deca. Hogue That's Ritter. the RSK. That's one that you I put CB. that one together. The orange and black that you can't get. So. Oh, no? Yeah. yeah. They should do it, but they don't super smooth so man. Yeah. yeah this is really good i've always loved this knife um i do the one thing though when you're talking about between the griptilian and this i love the sheep's foot with the whole yeah for blade sure. shape for sure. that's the one thing that i like better um, all right i should have showed them that a little bit more i don't know if they've seen that what is this so guardian tactical so just like the gxt oh, or gtx it's a that you had size one now this is the recon <laughs> <laughs> did you guys hear that listen Listen to this. <laughs> that is nice. That was next to the mic. This butt, it's so smooth in the spring. It's just, it's, I can't explain how smooth it is. I've handled a lot of OTFs. This is. It's a different thing, right? It is a different thing. It is. It is very 100 different. 100 different thing. So since we're talking OTFs, wow. this is the other knife that I had in my pocket today. Yeah. And. So I, I handled one of these at Blade Show, and this is really good too. This is the, the Hogue with um, the Magna Cut steel. Yep. They're carbon fiber. This is done so, so well. It's beautiful. You can really tell premium carbon fiber when you really look at the small details, like the cross cut section on the edges, um, the titanium hardware. This is really good too. They did a heck of a job. And with the push button on this now, it has a stronger spring than this, but it has that ramp. So you've got a place for the leverage. This is really, really good, but this is on another level. Yeah. This this is something different. Yep. Um, that blade, man, it just it's nasty looking. It looks yeah. like it just wants to, to fight. Yeah, you it's know? got blood letting. It looks holes. angry. It, <laughs> it looks does. Angry. It does look angry. He came into the bar looking for a fight. Yes. For sir. sure. Yes, sir. Oh, yep. This is nice, man. Yeah, it is. Is this aluminum? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh. So that one's called the Recon Elite, four inch blade, yeah, L-Max steel. L-Max, yep. I love L-Max. It has yep. a, a ching to it when it comes it, out. It does. I, I don't know if it'll come over the mic, but I love how easily I can just push it up with my with my pointer, well I could before, with my pointer finger. Like it just seems so easy to do. Like, oh, that's great, man. Yeah. All right, you ever handled this guy? Uh, no, this is my first time. <laughs> okay, all right, I've all seen right. it a lot. The K K K two K two K two, ten V blade steel. <sighs> I love ten V because if you guys don't know, ten V is basically K three ninety. They're very similar. They're very similar. Very similar. And I love my slish buoy, and this is the slish buoy's big big brother. Yeah, big big brother. <laughs> <laughs> That is so much slimmer than I ever would have thought. Right? It's so thin in hand. So slim. Yes. Oh, that would cut so good. Yes. Ooh, it's so smooth. Oh, man. I like it a lot. That action, slick them. Yep. Because yep. this is cr this is smoother than mine. 
Yeah. Well, my the, um, the, my the buoy. buoy yeah. yeah. So uh, the action is not. Uh, this knife is not known for its great action. <laughs> but it, I like this type of action. Uh, yeah. Though. Yeah, I do too. And uh, and certainly the slick mall helped significantly. Um, well, and yeah. Well, I mean, like. It's, it's it's one of my favorites it's very for sure. Smooth. One of my all time favorite knives. Absolutely love that uh, thing. It's a beast. so good. Like so you almost good. feel like you could you could chop wood with it. Yeah, yeah. It's so and slim it's 10V, though. So so you yeah, could you could chop wood with and it. And it's 10V. Yeah. In the lockup, you can really hear it engage. So, yeah, that thing is nice. That is badass. So badass. So we'll wow, go from from a beast. from a beast older Spider Co to a beast older Benchmade. What is this now? This is the Benchmade onslaught. Oh, okay. So I was talking about comfort before. Yeah. Now this this is another <laughs> another level. Of another comfort. level. Yeah. Wow. Right. Wow. Right there where the finger goes, it, it almost. I can't explain it, but it, it almost feels like um, like I'm holding a pistol or something. Uh, it sits forward a little bit. It's very, very comfortable. Ooh. Yeah. Is this on bearings? No, washers. Slick them all, washers. Check out that how thin that blade Whoa, is. Whoa, that's literally what I, I looked at. <laughs> I, I went like this. And this that, is, that bitch is like five inches long. I don't and, think I've ever seen a bench made this thin. Yeah, it's this, eight, eight inch blade stock. Is that thinner than the blade. bug out? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. It's no, got to be bug, close. The bug out's like 90 thousandths. Um, but for how long that blade is, it's crazy thin. This doesn't look thicker than 90 thousandths, especially because it tapers. So right here, yeah. this is so thin right here. Right here is the thickest point, obviously. But once you get past that, which this isn't thick, but once you get to here, holy cow. What is this behind the edge? Have you measured it? Uh, yeah, it's like uh, 15, yeah. 12, 12 to 15, yeah. depending wow. on where you measure it at. This is discontinued? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, they made this a, is They made a, a mini onslaught as well that's like a three and a half inch blade. Same thing. Was it as good as this? Uh, Was it yeah. good? Yeah, it's good. It's good. This thing is so smooth. Right? Like, look at this. It's so good. So good. Yeah, this is crazy good. And I love the blade shape. Yep. Like a straight clip point. You can still do utility cuts. You don't have the um, the effect of the trailing point. Yep, and it's got the raised uh, backspacer like that one knife oh, we yeah, had earlier. Yeah, yeah it's that all rounded. backspacer right there. That so helps. Just, in, that helped in the hand. Absolutely, just it makes does. it super. It comfy. really does. Yeah. it kind of rounds the back back end, so it doesn't square off in your hand. Yeah, there's my Maximet uh, yeah. pair of three yeah. that yeah. has just been around forever. If you guys don't know, you can get the CMEs. From this guy right here, OCD for EDC, and I'm going to link him down in the description, obviously, so you guys can get the CMEs from his website. And the, you're, if you have a lot of spider coats with compression locks, just be prepared to buy one for each one of them, because once you put it on there, you're not going to want to use the compression lock without it. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I, yeah, it is. Yeah, and it's just a fidget beast. All right, oh, so yeah. actually in your live the other night, I heard people talking about this. This is the, yeah. the Nimble X. Yeah. And it's such a good knife, man. It is. It really is. This is like surprisingly, and I'm not saying QSP like would do anything bad because QSP does killer work, but QSP got near react quality out of this one. Yeah, yes. they really did. They really did. Yes, absolutely. Like if, I agree. If they if they would if somebody would have handed this to me and asked me who's the OEM, I would have said react, of course. <laughs> right. You know? it, it's good. It really is good. They just man, such a killer job. Really good mill work. Beautiful knife, too. And then so many different blade shapes, sizes, everything. He basically made them where it'll fit your style, whatever, yeah. you know, whatever your style you is. handle that one? Yeah, yeah. I got okay. one of these, and All I right. love it. Yep, yep. This is my favorite TRM. Yeah. TRM for Shadow. For sure, for sure. I want to get titanium scales for mine. Yeah. I got to. Because yep. I don't, I've tried the titanium scaled one. Yep. You have two, right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I yep. got to yep. get one. Yep. Um, but, yeah, 20 CV steel, they do um, but yeah, best thing the T the Tiara makes, and yeah, I love yeah, it. I, I, I got to get I titanium agree. scales for mine. Yep. So do you have that one? I do, but mine's got different. Wait a second. Clips on the wrong side. <laughs> no, you have a detent. I do have a detent. Mine does not. Mine didn't have, but you it does it? now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. well. Um, and, you cut and, out the lock bar I for did. yours too. I did. Mine, mine. I did that. Yep. I did that. And so mine is 
far better for the access to the lock bar than it used to be. If you guys don't know, this, in my opinion, is one of the best work knives made. This is, is the Gale Bradley 2, and it's just a straightforward, amazing knife. They're like 15 thousandths, if not thinner, behind the edge, hollow ground, somewhat of a spear point blade. M4. M4 steel. Yes. Um, but the one thing, at least with mine, is the detent on mine is like, it's mushy. And mine this was too. This is good. This is good. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it's, I still, it's not perfect it's like not it's not strong the best it's not strong ever, but it works but it's better yeah than than original for but sure the lock bar access if you buy one you got to cut it back because it's so tight it will piss you off yes for but sure i love this knife I love all right it. so here's a custom uh adamus uh, uh, yeah right. adamus adamus yep it, which one is it uh is it adamus or adamus it, well the the designer says adamus oh but adamus uh, adamus i don't know but yeah this is a beast yeah this action on that thing stellar oh, these are so smooth wow yep it almost feels like um it's too smooth to be honest it, it, right is that blade so heavy it's so, that's what yeah. it is it's yeah. so heavy when it comes down like you're not expecting it to come out, down that hard yeah um yep. m4 right uh, crew wear crew wear wow, yep. i know i, I should have known that i love crew wear man such a good steel one of my favorite steels yeah for sure crew wear is a good one yeah and then That's a great one. They the, make a mini of that, by the way. Yes. Ooh, man. The I've aluminum to, M4 to bailout. I want to get one. Yeah, it's a great knife. I, it really is. You know, when I got to finally, finally try one, it was in titanium. Mm -hmm. And I said right away, I want one of these. Yeah. They're so slim. So th this is like, it's almost like I'm not even holding anything. It's yeah. so lightweight. And then... M4 steel. Yep. I mean, that's incredible steel. The thumb stud action is super snappy. Like, yeah. It's so snappy, and you can hear it like tink. It's so good. I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love this. And man, it's so lightweight. You feel like you're not even holding anything. Definitely. All right. So that there. Oh, never tried this. Giant Mouse. That's the brand new Giant Mouse uh, Nazca. I've seen people do videos on these. Okay. Ooh, yeah, micarta. Snappy. Yep. Axis lock on bearings. Ooh, ooh, yeah. This is better than I thought. When I looked at it, I thought ugly. But yeah. It is ugly. It, it it's different. That's for damn sure. Um, it works really. It good. does. <laughs> and it's good in hand. Like it's kind of a chunky little guy. Yeah, but that's what I like. Yep. I, I yep. you know it fills the hand. Yes, and Makes it to where you get leverage. Yes, sir. Um, I like thin knives too, but mm -hmm. I like getting a nice thick knife. Sometimes it's contoured, robust, and it fills the hand. You you feel like you have a lot of control. Yep. Um, grind this, on it's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. the grind is good. The the axis lock works really good. It's so smooth and it it yep. kicks out really really well. It's very fidgety. Yes. Um, I just, man, it's so ugly. But, yeah, it works good. Yep. It works great. I can see why people liked it. Because um, I was surprised when I seen people, like, raving about it. I was like, why? Yeah. But I get it now. Yep. That's it's, good. it's pretty good. And I like the jimping out, like, uh, yep. out on the edge yep. of the blade. Yeah. Yep. They put yep. it in a good spot. An actual spot that you use it. Yeah. Yeah. A good usable spot. All very right. cool. Nice, nice my card on there, too. Yeah, for sure. All right. So... What this is, is this is a Pearson Ooh. custom knife. Ooh, that retention's really good. Yeah, and this is a this is his model called the Titan. The Pearson Titan. Yeah, this is Ryan Pearson. Okay. Ryan and Rodney Pearson, you know them? I do not. Pearson custom knives. Pearson custom awesome knives. Awesome guys, super great guys. And blue uh, micarta. Yep, and he did the red she and white liners. Yeah, red, white, and blue, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. USA made, right? Oh yeah. Very good. Oh nice. yeah. And steel? What steel yeah. is it? Ten V. And it's been HRC. I yes, see that. Sir. Yes, sir. V. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. It's a beast. I bet you. It's this an thing. absolute beast. I bet you it's hard to get this thing to lose its edge. It is. It is. And that thing, I love that knife. Like we said before, Ten V is very similar to K three ninety. So it's like one of the top tier knives you're gonna have for edge retention. Um, the HRC can go up really high on it, and this. Yep. Is and very I don't even remember what that. It, it's it's good. Yeah. Uh, it's damn. It's I don't like, remember what it was. It's almost like a little kitchen knife where you just you feel like you could just chop food up with yes. it. You know, you can just do whatever with it. Yeah. Very comfortable. The thickness, the depth is just it. I'm locked it's good, in right, right now. You couldn't get it out of my hand. Yeah. I mean, it, it's really, really good. Yeah, and, and anybody out there looking for a quality, you know, uh, custom fixed blade, Ryan Pearson, check them out. Pearson Custom Knives. 
him and his dad, Rodney, do, uh, Ryan does amazing work. And just father awesome and people. Son. Father, son. That's son awesome. makes all the I knives. I love hearing that. And, and it's, he does amazing work. Just super good people. And uh, they live down in the southeast. I think uh, Alabama, Georgia, somewhere in that area. The I don't remember off the really top of my good. head. Yeah, and he makes the sheets as well. He does the Yep, yep. Yeah, great job so, on the sheet. Yeah, a little scout carry sheet. And just, I was just yeah. showing the difference. I showed a cheap, crappy Amazon knife sheet that looks very similar to this, but then I showed how it worked. Yeah. Like, shit. Yeah, that thing, know. positive, really yeah. positive. Very lot. positive. Yeah. Really yeah. good. Yeah. Can't beat that. Did you see this thing? This is brand new from Hogue. <laughs> it's so thin. So thin. Wow, even the handle. Yes. G10. Yep, textured G10, orange blade. It's very, coated. very good. It feels like it's supposed to be for like underwater or something. It's yeah. so grippy. Yeah, it's like Velcro in your hand. Yeah. 90 thousandths blade stock. Wow. Yeah, that's and, super thin. And did you see the steel? M4. Oh, man, <laughs> that's cool. How cool is that? That is super cool. What is this supposed to be, like a camping knife or something? Yeah, just like a little EDC, because, you know, throw it in your bag, little bug out fixed blade kind of a setup. What is this coating? Crazy. I, I don't know if it's DLC um it's different it's uh yeah. i don't i don't know what it is it's got i was thinking camping or like hunting because of the orange you well know? yeah but they make they make it in all black or the orange oh, okay black. okay so they make a fully blacked out version look at this sheath what so it's made to just drop in your bag kind of thing you just kick it off yep. yeah yeah it's just a little blade protector yeah super Bam, lightweight take it out chop up whatever like yeah just crazy cool. lightweight That's m4 really cool. is awesome very lightweight but hey man you you're not going to have to worry about your edge going dull for a long time. Nope. Nope. Very, very cool. All right. We're down to the last one. It's last, last blade one. I got on me. We got the Ask Knives from Medford. But there is something different about this, and I know about it because I've already checked this out earlier. Yeah. He put his Slickum in here, and I tried one of these at Blade Show, you know, and I almost ripped my nail off <laughs> trying to get it out. But this one is actually super easy to pull out. Like... When I gripped it, I, I noticed right away, I said, man, this one's nice and smooth. And he's like, yeah, slick them. <laughs> um, love the blade shape. Nice drop point, hollow ground blade, but a robust, thick grind. So very, very smooth on the open and close. Uh, you know, like I said, the ones at Blade Show were a little more stiff, but this is super smooth. And when you snap it open, you can hear it. Like, it has a nice snap to it you really know it's open i like these a lot yeah and you can easily close it one-handed usa made would you say t25s t25s T25, yeah. s45 vn blade and i've i've been carrying the hell out of this thing and honestly i i've really enjoyed it um i i use it way more than i thought i would honestly i bet, I bet you do and uh yeah it's it's good it really is. And good. you said this is all titanium, right? All titanium liners, titanium hardware, titanium pivots. Um, yeah, it's it's really excellent. Very, and the, very cool. Yeah, the other tool, the oh. scraper tool. Oh, that one. It yeah, it, it takes a little bit. It's of, getting dark out here, so I can't really see too good, but there we go. Yeah, so that tool, so the edge on it is sharpened just enough. It's not sharp, sharp. It's not going to cut you. Right. But it makes but the you could scrape most beautiful it. scraper. Yeah. You can totally scrape with and it. And then this is a quarter inch hex, right. so like a wrench. Yep. But the that gives you really great traction. So when you push your finger down on it, yeah, just like that. Yeah, yeah, because you can lock your finger right in there. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's right? actually really good. Yeah. Hell, yeah. That's cool, man. It is it's cool. super light, too. Man. Yes. You wouldn't yes, have, it like, is. this isn't like one of those really chunky, um, you know, Victorinoxes or whatever that are very, this is light for it, how, it is light. how robust it is. Yeah, and the hollow grind. Titanium, too. you yep, know. Yep, yep. Hollow grind, yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's done. Well done, for sure. All right, guys. There you guys go. We appreciate you guys watching. Peace. Part deuce. <laughs> I'm going to check my knives out.